Hey everyone, just wanted to do another little uh, mal cancer vlog for you uh, today. So uh, I have my staples out on the uh, neck dissection uh, at uh, NGH uh, this morning. I think they're absolutely fine. I just want to talk you through uh, the, uh, the the process of taking out uh, the staples on the neck dissection and show you how the cut is uh, looking now. So if you're enjoying the uh, videos on the channel, then please can you like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. So yeah, on the 31st of March, as you know, I had uh, a small tongue cancer removed from the side of my tongue as well as a uh, neck dissection at uh, Northampton General Hospital. I've uh, been at home recovering since uh, last Tuesday and uh, today was Staples Removal Day. So I had to uh, go to the Maxwell Facial Department at Northampton General Hospital this morning and uh, I had the staples taken out. So, uh, the process is absolutely fine. Uh, you know, I had to sit in a, uh, like a dentist chair sort of uh, thing. And um, the uh, very nice lady uh, gradually started to pull out the staples. No pain whatsoever. You just feel a little bit of pulling, um, like a pulling, tugging sensation uh, as you're going along your neck. And uh, then out pops the uh, staples. But it, it's, there's no pain with that whatsoever. It doesn't hurt at all. There are 17 uh, one seven uh, staples in uh, my neck and um, and and you know they all came out absolutely fine. I cannot shave yet uh, though. I was hoping to have a shave this afternoon you know today but apparently need to leave it uh, a few days after staples have come out so it'll be more towards the end of the week when I'm able to have a little bit of a shave and get rid of some of these, uh, these whiskers off my uh, chin. This is how the cut is uh, looking now. So uh, that's uh, where the cut is. Uh, the scar, I suppose, as it is now. Uh, from under my ear and then goes round through my neck. You can't really see all that much, to be honest, under the neck. Especially with a slight beard. That covers it up quite a lot as well. And uh, and so, you know, I'm very, very pleased cosmetically with how, how it's come out. There's all, not really all that much um, to be seen, uh, to be honest, of the, um, of, of, of the cut to the neck. So really, really pleased with uh, how that has gone. Um, so, yeah, uh, no problems whatsoever with neck dissection. Uh, there have been a lot of swelling, so you do get a lot of, a lot of swelling um, with a neck dissection. As the cells have been removed, actually I've noticed that some of the swelling uh, around here under my chin is uh, already starting to uh, reduce, um, and that should carry on over the next uh, few weeks as well. Uh, I've also uh, not had much in way of pain, a little bit of discomfort at times, very sort of tight feeling. But rather than pain, I would describe it as like a discomforting sort of feeling, especially over the past few days uh, as, as we cut sort of knitted together, I think. Um, being, being like a, a tight feeling uh, in my neck, but it's very difficult to describe. But if you can imagine that uh, someone is squeezing your neck, uh, not to a point of choking, but squeezing your neck, uh, and it's being very tight and constrictive. Um, so I've had that a little bit. That's quite a bit better today after the staples have been uh, removed. I think that's going to go uh, away as well. It is quite numb, so there's lots of nerves that you have uh, within your neck. Um, some of them go up, some of them uh, go down. Luckily, I haven't been affected by the main um, nerve problems, which, which is to the shoulder and to the, uh, and to the bottom lip. So both of those have been absolutely fine. But within the neck itself, um, there has been quite a lot of um, numbness. And they continue to be so apparently it's going to take like 12 to 18 months for, for the numbness to go away within the neck itself. So the lady uh, was telling me uh, at the hospital today. Um, so yeah, numbness and like uh, constricted sort of feeling, had that, uh, and, and, uh, and, and like a tight feeling. Uh, but otherwise it's been fine, not much in the way of pain. Um, and and uh, it's done great. You know, I have, have not really had any problems at all now. Where's my paper? Here it is. So, uh, from Wednesday, we're going to start doing neck exercises. Very, very important for anybody who has a neck dissection. You have to start mobilising your neck a um, couple of days after the, um, uh, the, the stitches or, or the staples come out. Um, so, uh, Wednesday, I begin neck exercises. And uh, I'll talk you through those uh, in, in another video. And, and we'll go through the neck exercises together. But you have to do after you've had a neck dissection to start getting the neck moving. 
I've not really had any problems uh, with mine. I can, I can move it fine. Um, but apparently you have problems, you know, after the uh, event, a, a few weeks or even months after the event. So uh, although my neck is fine, still important to do uh, the neck exercises. And uh, I'll be talking you through those. Uh, probably in a video on Wednesday, I would have thought. Otherwise, everything's gone great, uh, and uh, the recovery continues. The mouth is, and tongue still work in progress, and speech. Uh, it will get better uh, over the next few weeks, uh, I'm assured of that. And, uh, you know, it's just slow, slow, slow old process. I did take quite a bit of um, the, the tongue, you know, quite a bit of the muscle. Uh, and when I open my mouth a little bit better, I will show you how the tongue is looking, actually. So you'll be able to peer into Gal's mouth um, in, uh, in, in a subsequent video when I can open my mouth a little bit better and get my tongue out a little bit more. Um, but it's a little bit too early for doing that at the moment, I think. Right, so uh, just a little vlog, you know, to, to tell you that um, staple removal day has gone by, the staples are out, and, uh, and now it's time to start getting the neck moving with the exercises uh, from Wednesday. And I'll be vlogging again about that soon, of course. Uh, for this little vlog, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.